Hello, everybody. This is Joe Marquez from sonsoftechnology.com. I wanted to go ahead and share with you a great extension that I found that works really well in conjunction with Google Classroom. First off, I wanted to say that this recording is dedicated to the teachers from the Heschel Day School in the Los Angeles area. Did a great training with them the other day, and they're just fantastic teachers. And today is their first day back at school. So I wanted to give them a shout out um, in today's podcast. Um, the extension that I want to share with you is called the talk and comment extension. Some of you have seen this before. It allows you to have a comment button on any website that allows you to create a voice comment and place it anywhere. But the way that Google Classroom works, this really extends the possibilities of this idea. So let me show you what I'm talking about. In Google Classroom, normally if you wanted to leave an announcement, you click on the plus button, click on the announcement, and tell the class, hey kids, please bring in a can for donation tomorrow. And we would go ahead and post that. But what if we're looking at students who are younger and they can't quite read just as well? We want to also add another ability to have them hear the instructions. And this comment allows you to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click here, and I'm going to say the exact same thing that I typed. Hey, kids, please bring in a can for our donation drive tomorrow. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. And once I click on that check mark, it brings up a URL. And all I do is paste that right below. You can see it now gives me an option to hit play. Hey kids, please bring in a can for donation drive tomorrow. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow. And the sound is a little bit off only because I am recording a video and then also recording the audio um, for this as well. It would sound normal if we were just doing the voice note by itself. But you can see how it does extend the possibilities in Google Classroom to now leave these voice type notes for our students. But that's not it. We can do this also in classwork, just a little bit differently, though. Let's say that we want to um, assign classwork. Now, in the new Google Classroom, it's not in the plus button in the bottom right corner anymore. It's now a create button. We click on assignment. Let's say we want to give them a report. So report example. Um, we could type the instructions here as well. Here are the instructions, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm not going to grade this. I'd attach my template of what I want them to work on. And you would think you would record the instructions and paste it here, but that's not the way this one works. We're going to do this. So I click on my voice recording. Hey class, we're going to be looking at how to write a report. Don't worry. This isn't for any points. It's just so we can understand how to write this report. So once you click on the document below, please read through the instructions and we'll work on this together. So I get my voice recording just like we did before. This time I attach it as a link. It says invalid because you have to erase that voice note text part. And when you add the link right below the document, it now places our voice note. So if I click on the assignment, it has the instructions here, but also the verbal instructions there as well. Which is pretty neat because now we have our verbal and text written instructions. But as they always say in those commercials, wait, there's more. If we go ahead and actually click on the assignment that was assigned to the students, then we can actually leave not only our voice note or our, our comments, but we can also leave our voice note comments as well. Um, as many of you know, Google Classroom has added the comment bank for the most common errors students make so that they can don't have to keep typing the same thing over and over. Um, and you can now leave your private comments directly in the assignment, which is great. But what if we want to leave our verbal comments? We can do the same thing. All I do is click my voice note. Hey, Joe, you did a great job on this assignment. You really did a good job grasping uh, what a report should be. Now that you understand how to write a report, we're going to scrap it and we're going to make a video instead.
Let's have fun tomorrow because we're going to be using Do Ink and Green Screen. Going to click on that check mark. Going to grab, hit OK, and I'm going to post that as the private comment right in there. And what this does is if we go back into the assignment, it's now going to leave that voice comment under Joe's page for us to just play, which once again is pretty neat. We can also, if we wanted to, we could leave the comment right on the report. I can highlight here, click on the comment tool, paste that in, and it'll leave the link to where they can listen to the comment. So there's so many great things that we can do with these voice notes. It just extends the ability for us to reach all students, especially those younger students who are still having difficulty reading, where it would benefit them to have a voice recording of the instructions or other things as well. I hope this uh, short little video has given you uh, many ideas for how you can use this nice tiny little app extension for Chrome in your classroom. Uh, thanks a lot. And please, if you would like to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Joe Marquez 70. And as always, please visit sonsoftechnology.com. Have a great day and happy teaching.